we're going to create a new media type up here and it's going to be called a slack hook slack hooks are pretty cool now i'm going to show you how it's done so there's going to be two parts to this video one the first part of it we will we will create the slack hook and that will accept messages and then we'll create the script media type that sends the messages so here create media type that's part two so that's probably about three minutes from now if you want to fast forward the video but creating the slack hook first is quite important so we need to go into slack and i already have a workspace in slack i'm just going to use that you can i have to create yourself one if you don't have one now down the bottom here we have this thing called apps let's create to that let's do manage apps top left up here now i have one from earlier but i'm going to create another one build start building Wait a sec, I'm going to call this Zabbix. And it's part of Sean was here, which is my default workspace. Yours will be something else. Accept, I mean, create the app. Excellent. Incoming webhooks. Activate incoming webhooks on. Okay, so we have an example curl post webhook call here. Let's add new webhook to the workspace. Post to. I've created a channel. I've got a channel called Zabbix on there as well. So choose whatever channel or create a new channel. Install. Okay, and because we'll be writing a script that will run on a Linux computer, let's just copy this curl command here. Copy that. And we'll paste that into Notepad. We'll use that. And it says uh, text, hello world. And that's the message that will be sent to our Slack hook. Now, next part is creating the script media type that sends the message. Okay, so we need to now go to the alert scripts folder, which is on the Zabbix server itself. So I'm on the Zabbix server now. And let's find the alert scripts folder, and that is actually listed in the configuration file. So let's, I'll show you that. sudo nano. ATC Zabbix Zabbix server conf. If I scroll to the bottom, go up a little bit. And there's the alert scripts path. Use a lib Zabbix alert scripts. That's the folder we need to add a new script to. So sudo nano user lib. Zabbix alert scripts and we'll create a new file called slack alert dot sh enter create a new file that line or that curl command we just copied from slack copy that in there like so Let's just scroll backwards along the line and replace that hello world with a single double quote dollar one double quote single quote so that's what it looks like double single double dollar one double single double excellent let's go back to the beginning of the line press enter we need to do add another part ash bang slash bin slash bash so control x yes enter so 
go to that folder now. So user live Zabbix alert scripts ls slack alert dot sh. We need to give that execute permissions, which is ch mod a plus x slack alert dot sh ls skin. Okay, and it shows up green. That's now executable. Okay, so now we go back into Zabbix and we're in media types. Let's create a new media type and we'll call it Slack Alert. Like so. This type is a script. And a script name equals slack alert dot sh. Okay, and we'll add one parameter to it. And we'll call it alert dot subject. Okay, so the trigger name now when this is called will be put in this field here alert dot subject and that, that will replace the dollar one that we just did in the actual alert, slack alert dot sh script a few seconds ago enabled let's add that okay slack alert let's test that first what we'll do is go back to our slack channel uh, I'll create a new browser slack Go back to the workspace. I'll open up a channel that I also created earlier. It's called Zabbix. Put the two windows side by side. Now let's test the Slack alert. Test that. Send to. Doesn't actually matter anything. Right? Send to anything that gets ignored. Test down here, test subject on Slack now that says test subject. Let's change to something else like a trigger was triggered. Triggered test a trigger was triggered on slack now the message here gets ignored because i didn't create a, an option for it so anything you like and send to is also anything you like okay let's look at that in the mobile phone look at my new channel here called zabbix all right and let's uh let's let's watch this on the mobile phone mobile Okay, so test. There we go. And let's do another one. Okay, you can see on the left and on my mobile phone, I'm getting alerts from Zabbix. And so when a trigger happens now, we can select to have that use the Slack alert type, and that will be very, very useful. And if you ever get concerned that your tokens have been leaked and you want to change them, you can add a new webhook to your workspace, like so. Post to Zabbix store. And delete the first one there. Remove. And now I'll have to update my alert scripts with the new tokens.